got the official word that I'll be joining the Chicago Wolves today. Good to be back. It's been a couple of years since I've been here. Kaskasuo is first in the NHL. So we got our first COVID wrinkle of the season as Nashville played against Carolina last here, night here. And it was supposed to go back to back again tonight, but the game is canceled or postponed because I guess about four players on Carolina got tested positive. So I think everyone on Nashville has been negative so far. And But it's good that there's all these testing in place that if something like this happens, they can react pretty quick. And, but we shall see what happens and hopefully everybody is staying safe and all those guys from Carolina are feeling good. So um, good job by the league acting fast and that's all, all the credit for the testing and the protocols that we have in place. But tonight I'm going to watch my buddy Kevin Lunkin in place first NHL game for the Chicago Blackhawks. He's a goalie I played with back in Helsinki Yoker at under 20. So. I'm excited to watch him watch him tonight and uh, see all his hard, hard work pay off and make his NHL debut, so good for him. And my guy played in his first NHL game against a wily veteran. Yeah, Kevin Lincoln is going to get the opportunity to soon to be 26-year-old, 6'2", 260. Got the official word that I'll be joining the Chicago Wolves today. Um, driving down there tomorrow to Chicago, I think it's about a seven hour drive, so, so not too bad, which means I'm going to have to say bye to the red couch my my recording spot but um, yeah I'm excited to go up there and and uh, get some games under my belt and I'll probably be back here in the taxi squad at some point to be determined that's some kind of a plan but I mean this season there's really no plans <laughs> for this season so you gotta go day at a time and but today was our last practice at the practice facility here and I did have some new gear I did have a brand new branch chest protector that finally came in. I think it's the Optic 2 and um, it's pretty stock. I think the body's XL and the arms are large and the only custom thing I have is these little flaps under my under my wrist just so if I get caught having my hand up and there's that little extra protection there. And, um, one little piece of equipment that I was excited about was the Kova Goalie uh, suspenders. They are uh, made in Finland, all handmade, and uh, you can customize them, and the quality is really good with the uh, adjustable straps and all that kind of stuff. So first time having those, I was excited about that, and everything work, worked well, and uh, the suspenders and the chesty worked well together. So uh, finally got those in. I think I'm gonna break some new skates in starting at camp, and other than that, I should have everything I need. The next morning. car is all packed up as you can you can probably see so uh, heading to Chicago about a seven hour drive and camp starts here tomorrow just gotta head to uh, the rink here um, do a final COVID test and uh, grab some breakfast and then we'll be on our way Nothing like a little hiccup to start the trip. Uh, I just hit the freeway outside of Nashville and I realized I don't have any sticks. I need sticks to play hockey. So I had to drive back, probably pushed me back around 30 minutes. Um, but I got my sticks right here. So now I think we're good to go. Need the pennies back? Uh, no, thanks. Okay. And Chinese Americana? Thank you. You have a nice day. Thanks, you too. All right, so somewhere between Indiana and Kentucky, I think about four hours left. So I just got some gas, some coffee, gonna grab some food as well, and then hopefully, uh, 
finish the finish the drive straight through. I made it to the hotel, uh, not not too bad of a drive. Uh, I've got pretty long, but was able to get here before it got dark outside, which was huge. Didn't really unpack or anything like that. So just kind of have all my stuff thrown out here and just kind of all my clothes are in a hockey bag. Go dogs. Um, but yeah, I just have my hockey stuff drying out since I kind of had to pack it up and leave it in the car overnight but i think the plan is to uh skate tomorrow i hope here's the living room uh, kind of nice right now i do have a roommate but um i don't know how that's gonna really work when my wife and daughter are probably gonna come visit here in a couple days so uh but here right now all settled in and looking forward to get going tomorrow just pulled up to the Chicago Wolves practice facility here. Uh, good to be back. It's been a couple of years since I've been here. So, uh, and today, first day back at the practicing here. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So first skate with the Wolves is in the books. Um, it was actually just an optional day, um, but I think camp is officially starting on Monday. So I thought it was gonna start today, but for some reason it's Monday and it's kind of weird since some AHL teams are already playing exhibition games. So I don't really know what's going on with the league and the schedule came out. I think we have like one game a week for the first three weeks or so, five games in the first month. So. Uh, it's gonna be different for sure, but at least excited to get the games rolling. One goofy thing I think is um, to stay in the NHL COVID protocol and if needed to be called up, not having the quarantine is that I need to get a PCR test every day. So I have to come do it at a public COVID testing site. So I think every day before or after practice, I just have to drive up here and get my test done and that way uh, I'd be, if needed in Nashville, I could just drive straight down and uh, not having to miss any time. So um, not like I have anything else to do anyway, so <laughs> I, can, I can handle this. Hey, I'm doing good. You staying warm? Uh, but, uh, trying really hard to keep my feet right now, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, well at least I was right there with my window down and the sun was hot, so hopefully you guys can get that kind of okay. experience a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go to the side of the Can you set up a my credit account? Yeah. Okay, so your test results, they'll send you a text message or an email. Um, saying that it was totally ready. It's still about 40 minutes, but you're gonna go back and see your mic chart, and that's what it'll be, okay? Alright, thank you. Alright, have a good day. Thank you. Alright, so, test is now done. That took about 30 minutes, being in that line, so... And there's no food at the rink, so I'm starving right now. I got a grocery shop, but I also... I need food right now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna just go to Chipotle and probably grab some coffee and regroup and um go get some groceries later and so i'll be set for for the week
So I had a pretty interesting question asked in the last video. Dane asked, do I think YouTube is hurting my pro hockey opportunities? Uh, how my teammates like it? And do NHL organizations frown upon this stuff? So first of all, I'm a hockey player, 110%. Um, my focus is fully on hockey and nothing has changed for me since I've started to, you know, film and edit stuff and post on YouTube. So everything's still the same. I still approach the game the same way. It hasn't been a distraction at all. And like, like every other guy on the team, like they might go home and play some video games and I just like to edit some videos. So, and I don't think my, the stuff I post is anything controversial, anything like that. So I just try to keep it lighthearted and show you guys around and kind of what it is day to day and behind the scenes. It definitely hasn't affected uh, my pro hockey opportunities. And I, I mean, I was doing the vlog from the bubble and there's no issue of getting, uh, getting another NHL contract with Nashville. So, and about teammates, um, I don't really film them. I don't think I've filmed them at all pretty much. I like respect their privacy and I don't want to like shove the camera in their face. And obviously now with COVID since the bubble, like we can't really even can't even hang out with them. I haven't heard anything bad. Um, some guys have noticed about the vlogs and kind of surprised about it. I mean, I post about it on social media, so they probably see it, but I think most of them just brush it off like, oh, whatever. But uh, I haven't heard anything bad. Nobody's made fun of it. So <laughs> that's a good sign. But yeah, I'd wish to incorporate teammates as much as I can, but I want to make sure everybody's comfortable and there's all the COVID rules that we can hang out with each other anywhere so that makes it hard as well but yeah so and some of the guys have actually like told me that they they should start doing something like that to like kind of get their social media game up a little bit so i take it as a good sign and the third part was that are the organizations frowned upon social media stuff so uh, i'm lucky to be in an organization with nashville that really embraces this and like wants to help me out. So shout out to the Preds PR team. I know you guys are watching. So uh, they've been a great help, just kind of helping me get through this and make it as best as possible. And I've, obviously I want to represent the organization the best I can. And so that's obviously brought a huge peace of mind for me for uh, being supported this way. And I mean, it's, it's different. I feel like no one else is really doing it. And I'm not like, it's not my, place to bring the camera to places I'm not supposed to you know it's the team's privacy it's the player's privacy and the Predators have definitely made it easy for me to do this kind of stuff and with the support and um, it's been it's been great and much appreciated but that's about it if any of you are wondering why I do this it's kind of to uh, for myself as well <laughs> to look back on and kind of see the little details that of my hockey career and Obviously, now that there's a limited fans in the building and we've all missed hockey, even the players, and can't even think what you guys, as fans, how you guys have missed hockey. So I just want to give you some kind of extra content, look behind the scenes, and something that you might not normally find. So it's been fun. I, I like doing it, and as long as the feedback is positive, I'll keep doing it. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more stuff and also all the links in the description make sure to check that out some new merch will be coming out soon and big thanks to the tap channel once again for the drone shots and that's about it like i said thanks for watching i'll see you soon